With a yo-ho-ho, it's Tilda Toaster. Let's return to the football club room in the new episode of Let's Play Inazuma 11. Everyone, we now have 11 members. Wow, he really did it. Nice work, Mark. But do we still have to play against Royal Academy, don't we? Hiya! Yeah, it's been a long time since our last match. We'll have to get some practice in straight away. Come on, everybody. And let's slowly pace out of the door. Yep, that's us being ready for exercise. Slowly walking towards the door. Well, looks like we don't have a choice. We'll just have to go through with it. Come on, let's get some practice. Come on, let's hurry. We've got to prepare the pitch first. And they may walk even more slowly. But we're preparing for a practice match, it would seem. Well, at least it looks a bit more like a football pitch now. It's been a while since we've practiced. Come on, Mark. Time to practice. I keep saying practice. Did you know what the spelling difference is between the two words of practice? If you spell it with an S, then it's practicing a game of football. If you spell it with a C, it's a medical practice. I'm not looking forward to having a practice after all this. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. Uh, practice, practice. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. And now you've heard the word practice in everybody's voice. Let's get on with the 15 minute practice match. Get your stylus ready because this is our first match besides that, you know, that little bit of bullying. These are the controls. I'll skim through it slowly so you can kinda take it in. But I already know how to play the game and I'm sure I'll explain it all over again anyway as the LP goes on. Not straight away, I don't want to info dump you. Right, you won't be able to score from there, mate. Yeah, Timmy's gonna catch that. Timmy isn't a goalkeeper by trade, he's a defender. But we've only got one goalkeeper on the team and, you know, Mark is in our goal. So they, they either shove Timmy or Jack in there, depending on who you've got up. Sometimes even... Oh no, Jim's on our side, so it couldn't be him. But yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining what I'm doing. You've got two options when another player comes up to you when you've got the ball. You can dodge or you can charge. If you dodge, then upon success you'll have complete control over the ball. See, with charge I lost control of the ball there. But charge is a lot more likely to win in the first place. If you dodge, you'll usually get the ball tackled out of your feet. Who got the first goal? Was it Jim? Oh, nice one, Jim! Yeah, I generally go with charge all the time, unless I really over-level the player. But even still, charge doesn't work that well in the early game, because you do generally lose the ball after its success. Same with tackle and sliding tackle. Like, sliding tackle is so much more likely to get the ball off your opponent, but you will probably lose it after winning it in the first place. Two options between shoot and chip shot. <laughs> but maybe I should save, spread some information around. This is the first example of a three-a-side match. We'll be doing quite a lot of three-a-side matches throughout the game, but none quite like this. They won't all have 15-minute time limits, score as many goals as you want. They'll be a bit more mission-based, if you will. Oh, that's, that's too far. Oh! Wow! You, that counted as an own goal! Well, in the very first match, that is a rarity. Like, a goalkeeper almost never fails to just catch a ball like that, but it just bounced off him and went straight into the net. Now, you see that Sam, the gingerhead one, he's kind of sweating and moving very slowly. That's because he's run out of stamina. More on that later, eh? Nice job. Looks like you still remember how to play. Once you've had a rest, come and talk to me again. If you want to change a teammate, press the X button, then select friends and swap. I might as well mix things up a bit. I'll keep Nathan in the team. I'll put Steve in there and uh, Kevin. Get some more enthusiasm in him. Okay, so we can talk to everybody again, but they mostly just say the same thing except for Jim. I don't need to speak to him again, mind. 
yeah, they're just saying the same. Mark, about finishing... Yeah, let's just finish it. Let's call it a day. I'm knackered after all that practice. Huh? Oh, it's the woman again. Nelly? Father doesn't really like the football club, so I came to have a look at what's going on. Isn't it disgraceful that you only decided to start practicing once you knew you had a match? Wouldn't it be more sportsmanlike to just disband the club now? Yep, game over. Oi, she's the governor's daughter. You can't speak to her like that. Ah, oh, so you know who I am. I'm going to be at the match watching you play. We'll see whether you'll be disbanded or not. I'll never let this club be broken up. As long as we have a passion for football, it won't happen. Well, at least you've got spirit. Unfortunately for you, it takes more than just spirit to win. Good day to you all. I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Ah, she really grinds my gears! The governor hates the football club? Where's this because the Royal Academy match was set up and they were planning to disband the club all along? Mark! No, that can't be it! If we go out and play our best, even the governor will understand! Hey up, Gab! I won't let the football club be disbanded! And now we go to black! But that all changed after the match against the Royal Academy and I'm speaking over this one-off sound bite which you never hear anywhere else in the game and I don't know why they even bothered making it. This isn't a cutscene, by the way, it's just still images, but I wanted to hear the school bell. The match against Royal Academy is finally here. We've worked hard this week. All that's left is to play as well as we can. Mark, look out the window. It's Royal Academy. They're here. Well, oh boy, let's have a look. I'm guessing just super good team kicking the ball around the place. And we'll be like, oh no, they look really good because they can kick a ball over their heads. A Whoa. sudden and baffling request to play a match came from Royal Academy. Raimond's football club had to be cobbled together at the last moment. Royal Academy's unbeatable force was led by the genius playmaker Jude Sharp. Even though we'd no chance of succeeding, we took up their challenge. But in the end, things didn't turn out like anyone had expected. Oh, really now? What's different? Jude, why did we come to this school? Well, you never know what will happen. Of course their first line is, Hey Jude, they're just shoving the Beatles references down your throat. Captain, I think we should think this through. There's no way we can win against them because they had a flashy entrance and that implies that they're fantastic at football even though they never actually touched the ball themselves. Oh no, I can't find Jack. That's not Sylvia's one. He was here when the Royal Academy team arrived. He's run off. We have to find him. I'll ask around and see if anyone's seen him. We'll help, Mark. But if we can't find him, all that practice will have been for nothing. I'm going to have a look over there. Mark, you keep looking around here, okay? Right, so yeah, that that's your story. Jack's gone missing. 
and I rearranged my team a few seconds, a few minutes ago for nothing because now I'm guaranteed to have these ones following me. Right, well anyway, Sylvia's made a blog post about it, so yeah, Jack can just read that and then he'll come back to us, right? Now let's have a look around. It's a good opportunity to get a little peek around this floor of the school regard. Okay, we're not even allowed to go that far. We must be somewhere within this square. Do you know? That's it! It's so noisy, I've given up altogether! <laughs> yeah. There's more to life than just grades, you know. You're looking for Jack. Knowing him, I bet he's hiding someplace. Yeah, that does sound like him. He is a bit of a scaredy cat, as we've already seen. What are you doing? That look of this started moving by itself. Ah. What that one? Ah, it is. <laughs> um, let's knock on it. This the ah, what's that? Uh oh, oh, that was horrible. It was tighter in there than I thought. Jack. Oh, Captain. I'm sorry. I was just. I'm really scared. We've worked so hard, we can't run away now, can we? Come on, let's play football! But... Oh... Just you wait a minute, you lot. You can't go bullying him into doing something he doesn't want to do. I don't know who's saying that. Okay, it's the Ryman Junior High Sumo Club. Jack isn't meant to be a football player. He's destined to be a sumo wrestler. What? Where'd you get that loopy idea from? Jack's never said anything about wanting to be a sumo wrestler. Well, it doesn't look like he wants to be a football player, does it? Jack, which is it? Who? Me? I... I don't know. I'm really back in the locker. That's what I thought. How about we clear this up with a little kick around? If you can get past us and hit that locker with the ball, we'll leave Jack alone. You're on! We won't let you keep Jack locked up inside that locker! Come on! Locked up in the locker! Lockity lock 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 it! Locker cough sweet! Okay, so this is the... The sumo club, obviously. This is quite the original... I don't know why they're telling us this now. We don't need elements at the minute. Because this isn't even a football match. All we have to do is hit the locker with the ball. Which is a very unique thing to do. There's no mission quite like this in the game. They always involve, you know, tackling somebody or getting a goal. There's never another mission in any Inazuma game like this where you just have to hit a certain target. It looked like I missed, really, but... In the cutscene, it was fine. It counts as a goal. So that's nice. Todd got his first goal in inverted commas. And we've leveled up from it, of course. I'll go over elements when it's more appropriate, eh? Throughout, they did it! They cut through our solid sumo defense like a hot knife through butter! Football is not just a game for kids, after all! <laughs> You've come to this conclusion after we you know, hit a locker with a ball once. If you run away once, you'll have to run away every time you're scared. That's no good, is it? Captain, I'm sorry. I'll try my best. That's all I can do. That's the spirit, Jack. And Jack Wallside has rejoined us. Hooray! Now he can put his skills to good use. Let's go meet Sylvia. Are you all right? Jack was that... I think he's trying a bit too hard. Are you sure? Okay, Nelly, your dialogue has changed. That's right, Nelly. We have scraped together a team. And we are going to take on Royal Academy. Well, I'm, I'm starting a real match. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how long this episode's gone on, but looks like we're getting right into this. Hey, Hatch. Why do we have to come play this bunch of weaklings? The boss is interested in a player who transferred here. We're just here to observe him. Interested in a player, eh? Is he someone we could use? That's up to the boss to decide. All we have to do is follow orders. Questioning or failing to follow orders will not be tolerated. 
Now, come on. Off to the pitch, lads. Who are you? Why are you in the center of my screen? Why is your name all in question marks? And why do you have no dialogue? Just a bunch of dots. Is she supposed to be mysterious? Is she even a woman at all? Come on, team. Let's give Royal Academy a fright. Captain, can't you take it easy a bit? I think I'll end up fainting from the shark. No, we've been putting some serious practice in. This should be quite a battle. That's right. You should believe in me, the ace striker, a bit more. You've never even played football with us. Everyone, same plan as usual. I have nothing more to add. I feel sorry for them. They don't know what's about to hit them. Maybe we should do them a favor and put them out of their misery quickly, rather than drag it out. Come on, lads! Time to beat Royal Academy! We have a chance, right? Here we go, Ryman versus Royal Academy. I'm the commentator now. I won't be taking part in the match anymore. There is actually a commentator for every match in this game, but you don't see them. So this is our lineup at the moment. We can change it by going into info and dragging them around. Everyone has bios as well. It's really good. I love reading them all. I guess I'll give you a quick flick through them. Highly popular student, fearsome goal striker, jack of all trades, and that sums him up completely. Cute exterior, for some. I mean, I don't hate Max, I just have a go at him for not displaying complete interest in football. But some of these bios are particularly funny, especially in later games. Which I keep skirting around mentioning, yes, there is more than one Inazuma 11 game. But we are definitely playing the first one. I'm sure I'll explain what the whole series pans out like in time. Well, not just tell you the whole story or anything. <laughs> just go over, like, the names of them. And then possibly LP them later. We'll see. But for now, let's get on to the actual match. Ryman vs. Royal Academy. Let's see what Willy's skills are really like. Oh, dear. We've already lost the ball. Oh, oh God. Um, Jack Wallside, you've been preparing yourself mentally in a locker for the past four minutes, probably. Nope, they, that's the first instance of a special move in this game. And it was a foul! Way, Go on, lads, we're going to win this! Uh, there's Nathan over there, let's pass to him. Keep it going upfield. Uh, ah. Of course he was going to get that, he's like the best goalkeeper in the country and we just tapped it from a long distance but the ball is in our corner that's quite nice go on Sam get the ball off him I dare you ah oh, bloody John Bloom <laughs> yeah I know that player's name off by heart he's called John Bloom and he loves being violent according to his bio so not quite like my blooming friend Golden Lotus this is your chance Jim ah oh Maybe not. Yeah, you, you can see why his bio said Bloom likes to be violent. And now Todd's got to take it as well. There he goes. And that's totally... It is a foul! Hooray! Yeah, Breakthrough obviously has a higher chance of becoming a foul than most moves. Whether or not a foul, a move is a foul is just random at the end of the day, it's not triggered by how you play. But some moves like Breakthrough do have a higher chance of being a foul. While well, some just are very, very unlikely to be one. We we can't seem to get the ball off these guys. I mean, it's made quite obvious from the start that they're better than us, but couldn't we at least get the ball once? No, it's time for Sharp to go for goal with a big fade to black as well. We finally got underway. The reality of the situation soon began to dawn on us. Our team had only been assembled a week earlier, and we just weren't ready for a competitive match. Well, that escalated quickly. What's he talking about? That was just a regular shot. Ah! Let's make 
make this more interesting. Show them death, sir. I'm just switching from cutscene to in-game cutscene to dialogue so much. But uh, this is the death zone. And to be honest, it probably would kill you. Entire cutscene just to see him get hit in the face. Go on then. It's over. No one on the receiving end of death zone is ever left standing. What are we doing here? I don't see any players that could be useful to us at all. Looks like we were on a wild goose chase after all. Hmm. It's not over yet. 